Hey artists, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a coil pot using Play-Doh, um, either the store-bought Play-Doh or the do-it-yourself Play-Doh um, at home. If you don't have Play-Doh of any kind, you can definitely draw out what your idea would be and then maybe we can practice it in the future when we're together with actual clay. Alright, let's get started. So this first part I'm taking off a piece of clay and I'm rolling it into a ball. This is going to end up being the base of my coil pot. Once I have the ball, I push down just slightly and I take my rolling pin and I very gently roll it out and it will create somewhat of a circle shape. Now I'm going to start creating my coils. I take a piece of the clay and I make it into a hot dog shape. Now I'm starting with one hand and I am pushing towards the middle and putting pressure as I work towards the outside parts of that coil. Notice how I'm going from my fingertips almost all the way to the back of my palm when I begin. And if there's a small thin piece, I just break that off. This helps create a nice even coil, which is what we're looking for when we're building up. In this part of the video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create different um, types of line with your coils. If you think of a coil as a line, it will help you come up with different ideas of what you can make with it. So zigzag, diagonal, thick, thin, swirly lines, bumpy. There's many different kinds of lines that you can think of when you're drawing. And try to think of that as well when you're creating your different um, coil designs. Okay, parents, this is where you avert your eyes. I'm taking multiple colors. I'm putting them together to create a marble design. Um, this is where I find I have the most fun when I create different kinds of color mixtures together with just some basic colors. And if I don't mix it all together um, completely by mushing it in my hands, it really looks like I marbleize the clay. I like making a lot of line designs ahead of time. This allows me to easily put my coil pot together when it's time. Now that I have a bunch of different kinds of lines, a variety of them, I'm going to start building up and I start with my base. Because this is Play-Doh, I'm not going to be showing you any techniques to permanently connect two pieces of the Play-Doh. Especially because I think the most fun part of Play-Doh is that when you're done creating something, it is not permanent. You can just take it apart and create something completely new. I found that in between each layer of different kind of line design, I put a solid coil and that would help hold everything together. With Play-Doh, the more you work the Play-Doh, the softer it gets because your hands are really warm. So having those long coil pieces actually really helps with the stability of your coil pot. 